Hey, good morning, guys. I got something really cool to show you today. Um, Waterfly contacted me and wanted me to, uh, to check out one of their one of their products. So uh, I looked on their site. I found this bag here. I thought it'd be interesting to check out. Normally, this is not something I would do. Uh, this this style of uh, gear. I said, but uh, after checking out the uh, Waterfly um, the Waterfly water bladder that I bought a bunch of years ago, I'll see if I can put a link up to it here somewhere. <coughs> uh, I really had to do it. That bad that water that water bladder uh, impressed me so much. I had to I had to check it out. So. I got this bag, I've been carrying it for about two months now, uh, testing it out, and uh, I gotta show it to you, so stick around. Sorry guys, for the last couple months, I've been carrying this guy, um, Pretty much everywhere I went, uh, I bring it to work every day. I hang it up beside my machine. I use the uh, I use the pocket to carry my uh, my water, carry, carry my water bottle in it. I keep my my um, you know my my extra pair of gloves. I keep my my sharpening stones. I keep my pocket knife. I keep my multi tool. I keep my lunch. Uh, um, sometimes I carry a toque in here for winter time when it gets really cold. Uh, all kinds of stuff I carry in this bag, and. The more I use it, the more I'm starting to love this thing. Now, I know it's not your traditional bag that you would see me carry or use on my channel, but uh, this one was special and I needed to show it to you. So I'm gonna bring it in close. We're gonna show you some of the features of it. Um, and then we're going to uh, get a coffee going. So stick around and check this out. All right, so first things first, we got this uh, nice pocket on the outside for holding water bottles. And I've got one of those uh, 48 ounce Nalgene water bottles in there. And this thing takes up a good section, a good portion of this bottle. That ain't never falling out. You only got like two, uh, two inches sticking out of the top here. It's gonna be fine. Let's stick this guy on the ground. All right, on the back side here, let's move this am still out of the way. On the back side here, you got a nice padded, a padded back. And it's, uh, it's got a mesh on there, so it, lets a little, uh, it adds a little breathability to it, I guess you could say. You got a nice three inch uh, padded st uh, strap that goes over your shoulder, very comfortable. Uh, just to uh, let you guys know, the depending on which side you wanna carry the backpack on, there's a little uh, clip that comes off. It'll attach to this side or this side if you wanna carry it on your left or on your right. Also, the strap will go from, it'll uh, adjust from 31 inches to 48 inches, I believe. Um, and this is just off of memory. If I'm wrong, I will put it in, uh, in a nice writing up here somewhere. But the, uh, it's a nice padded, nice thick uh, cushion strap, and I find it very, very comfortable uh, hanging over your back. It's got a nice little grab handle up here. We got this hanging from a nice little toggle. That's uh, gonna be just fine. On the other side of the back, back side of the backpack, we got our first pocket to look at. The zippers seem to be pretty decent. They open up and close up inside there. I've got my multi-tool, I've got my wire for my, um, for my charger, I've got some keys, I'm not going to put those on the floor, i got some Advil for those days that work just sucks, and I've got my fire steel, and a little bit of change. So we're going to go ahead and throw all that back in the pocket so we're not making a mess. And let's get that multi-tool back in there as well, it's my Leatherman rebar. All right, which will bring us to our second big pocket, which is on the side here. And this zipper actually zips the whole way down. So inside there, we got our lunch, some happy yak. Now you can see the size of that. Nice and thick, nice and big. Put that on the ground. We've got my book of secrets. We'll put that on the ground too. All right here so it doesn't get all nasty. We have a knife, silky saw, we've got our charger for our phone or to charge any device you choose. We've got a firebox stove, put that on the ground. 
And what else we got in here? Anything else in the back? No. Now, once you open this guy up, hopefully you can see this. I will show you all these spots in a second with a close up. But once you got this guy opened up, we're going to zip this guy down. And in here is a little pocket that holds this wire. Now, this wire you can plug into your phone or plug into your charger and you just toss this into the back the back side of your pack so once that's in there in the front here you pull out your wire and then you can pull out your phone just plug it in and you're charging see that so we got our phone charging, backpacks on. Say the backpacks on, we can sit there and text our best friends, do some editing on YouTube, do whatever it is you want to do, and it's all going to be right there. Very cool. Love this. Love this little feature for uh, for an everyday EDC bag. So that's that main pocket. Now inside here, you can also see it has a a Velcro, and this piece here is actually designed to hold on to a laptop but uh or an ipad or some kind of thing like that but um i use it for uh, all my flat items like my uh like my uh my knife my my saw my my uh firebox stove my lunch uh, all that stuff will fit in there quite nicely and easily uh, there's also some side pockets here where you can instead of having this guy floating around in the pack you slide that into the pocket right there that'll hold on to it nice and sturdy and you can tuck all the rest of that wire inside that pocket where that little uh a little zipper is and then you're nice and set sorry guys once you got your, your bag all filled up and you want to uh you want to really cinch it down say if you're going for a jog or a bike ride and you don't want things flopping around there's a couple of cinch buckles right up here so once you have all of your stuff zipped up you can give that a nice pull down and that'll tighten everything up same thing goes with the bottom if you want to tighten up the bottom you can uh just do the hit the quick uh quick disconnect right there give it a good zip and everything's going to be hold, held in there nice and tight but for the purpose we have right now let's open everything up make it easy to take everything in and out and we can have a look at it once we got this guy open we'll uh, take a look at what we got inside it's a nice big opening Oop. so first thing we'll take out my my hidden woodsman uh i don't know if this is a fire kit or whatever it was but i use this for all my um all my camera stuff my video shooting and that stuff so here we go throw that on the ground we got a little bit of uh, sugar, salt, uh, sugar, uh, cream, and coffee. Put that on the ground. All right, we got our wood knot coffee press, and you can see the size of that. That's a nice, nice big coffee press, 750 mils. It's just a uh, Ziploc bag that I keep in there from time to time. And in there, we also have our. Hidden Woodsman, Hidden Woodsman uh, fire kit bag. Uh, inside this bag, I have uh, two slingshots, a uh, nice big thing of um, of uh, targets, uh, and I have some uh, ammo in there. So just for fun, shooting around, having a good time. Now, in this big pocket here, I still had more room, but I didn't put anything inside. Now, I do have another zipper in, uh, in a zipper pocket in here. There's also a nice little pouch in the back here for a dump pocket, and then. Uh, you see where all these uh, stitches are. They've got some supports and everything like that. All the stitching looks pretty good. So, we've got this other zipper over here in the back. Let's open that up and take a look. This guy opens up pretty big. I don't have much into this one. Well, maybe I do. But, I've got fork and knife um, from, my, uh, from my buddies over at the Bitty Big Q. I've got a DC4 and a CC4 uh, sharpening stone. I've got a tea bag, and I've got a fork, and I have my uh, my WowTac um, my WowTac uh, flashlight, just in case you get caught out in the dark. You need to have you need to have some light. Now all of that stuff all fits into that little that little pocket on the side here. A couple of things that have impressed me about this thing: stitching has held up. I've carried a pretty heavy load in it. Uh, for the last couple of weeks uh, it's taken it no problem the uh the material i've been rough with it it's handled it it's nice and thick it feels like some kind of nylon um 
the pocket, the elastic pocket on the outside is great. So even if you have really cold water inside your pack and you get into a warm spot, the condensation just runs right through it instead of actually uh, getting soaked up by the bag. Uh, it is um, somewhat water resistant, I would say. I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and demo that with a bottle of water right now. You can see, um, you can see right here, the water just kind of beads up and runs right off of it. A little shake and you're, you're pretty good. Uh, I don't feel any, there's nothing coming through quite yet, uh, but I wouldn't want to uh, spend too much time outdoors uh, with this thing, but you could always go ahead and spray it with some of that waterproofing shoe spray and that'll uh, solve this problem 100% and you'll be uh, good to go. Good to go in all weather. Sorry guys, there's one thing I have to say about this backpack that's kind of impressed me, is the quality of the zippers. Um, I don't know what the, uh, what you know, the gold standard of zippers tends to be YKK zippers. Uh, these guys are uh, SBS zippers. Don't know how good they are, but there's one thing I will say that is this, as over the last two months I've used this bag, the zippers are super smooth, they feel sturdy, no hangups, not with one of them. There's not a loose thread on this thing anywhere. And the, um, the overall quality seems to be fantastic. And that goes for all the zippers. The ones on the sides, no, the little guys, the internal zippers, everything. Everything just seems to be flawless. The quality control, whoever's doing the quality control on these things are doing an excellent job. And uh, I can't really say much more, much more about them. I, I really don't want to say it's the best bag on earth, uh, but it's definitely a damn good bag. But I mean, all things considered, I've got this small little pack on. It's very comfortable. And the one thing I didn't like about sling bags uh, was when you got them hanging over your shoulder and you're going for a long hike and you're walking around doing your thing, uh, they tend to put a lot of pressure on one shoulder only. Now, the good thing about that is, with this bag, is you could simply just grab that clip, pop it off, hook it onto the other side, And now you're on the other shoulder. It's equally as comfortable. It's hanging on your pack, on your back, and you're ready to go and walk anywhere you want. Now that took me seconds, literally. Sorry guys, hope you like this quick demo of the Waterfly sling bag. Um, I actually absolutely love this backpack. And if you're looking for something, um, you know, to carry on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, just in and out of the car, uh, while you're going out to fairs and doing your thing with your family or enjoying yourself, or even on uh, small hikes out in the bush, uh, doing some photography and that kind of thing, this might be the bag for you. Uh, so far, the quality stood up. Everything is fantastic. Uh, I, I can't complain about anything. It's two months in. I've been beating the crap out of it, carrying it to work. It's had sparks hit. It's had all kinds of stuff happen. So, uh, so far, I, I gotta say, uh, I'm giving this guy a two, th two thumbs up, maybe a nine on 10. Um, I can't even find anything I don't like with it, really, to be honest. But uh, that's just my my opinion. But uh, if you're looking, if you're looking for something that you could take quick, just throw some stuff in, easy access, you don't have to worry about it. This might be the bag for you. Uh, anyway, thanks. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You guys get on Explore. I'll see you in the next one. And if you haven't, if you're new to my channel, I'm Mark from Adventure I'm Outdoors. Thanks for the support. And thank you, Waterfly, for the support. I'll see you in the next one. You guys take care. Well, that walk away didn't work at all. <laughs> anyway, oops. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I want to say a big thanks to Waterfly for allowing me to test out this bag for them. I really appreciate it, and it's an awesome product. Uh, if you guys want to check out a couple other reviews I've done on backpacks, check these links out. I'll attach them to this end screen, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot for watching, and please subscribe.